Right now, many people think yes, or at least mm -hmm. some of the arguments are the populists, like close the borders. Uh, yeah. And also another argument of the populist is that we, every country needs to solve its own problems. Yes, the pandemic is a global issue, but uh, the United States actually decided not to be of, of help. And, uh, you know, even the Germans were first looking after Germans, even though they've done mm. a lot for the rest of Europe. So every country basically has to do, uh, has to take care of itself. And so yeah. we're back to sort of a more of a national, na nation, national argument of, of my country first. Mm -hmm. and I have to build my own capacity instead of investing in European capacity or in the international system. Yeah. We need to build our own capacity, which is a populist argument. But I think that, that where the populists fail is that they really don't have very strong technocratic answers for the problem. Mm, yeah. I mean, in the end, COVID is a, is, a, is a problem that needs experts to solve it. It, mm -hmm. it needs scientists. Uh, economists, uh, capable technocrats to manage and solve it. And, and, and that uh, uh, community is not part of uh, populism. So mm -hmm. the, uh, even if we're going to see populism uh, uh, today, uh, uh, in the future, it might be a different kind of the populism than, we, than we've seen in Italy or, or, or in England. They, they, these governments have not performed well. I mean, Boris Johnson has not done well in England. Uh, uh, that yeah. populism is not, is not a winner. So even if it's going to be, you know, English nationalism, UK nationalism, it has to be one that uh, it has a different kind of a language than the one we've seen so far.